So many of you have been giving Google interviews as well as Google online tests from the past some time and you will be giving it really very soon because many of you have already applied for some of the positions which were open some months back. So in this video, we're going to completely analyze Google's process with respect to the online test. What exactly are the type of questions that you can expect in the online test? What are the important topics in that online test? In some cases, the online test is skipped. So what are those cases and how can you be a part of Google? So we are going to completely demystify the process of Google along with that i'll share you some resources with respect to mock tests that you can practice to get over to this online test along with that some practice questions list from google that you can practice as of now so this is going to be an extremely resourceful video for somebody who's looking out to prepare for this test as well as for the interview rounds let's start the video with a brief about google's sd online assessment so if i if i'm talking about sd online assessment so it it is for both sd internship as well as sd full time so when I say Google SD online uh, assessment, so in Google generally for freshers, there are three roles that are offered. When I say three roles, first out of those roles is uh, Google SDE, that is software engineer role. Generally for freshers, they hire for L3 level, right? Then there is something known as application engineer. Then there is something known as strategic cloud engineer. And apart from that, you will see uh, these internships also you'll see software engineering role and there is an sd internship as well there is an application engineering internship as well right apart from that there's something known as google step internship Right, so these are the major roles that you will see uh, in Google for freshers. So this step internship if I talk about, so this step internship is basically for second year students This S SW internship is for third year and final year people. Third year people, it would be two months internship in the summer and final year students, it would be a winter internship. I'll soon be coming up with a video in which we'll talk about how a student from a tier three college got into his six months winter internship very, very soon. That is already short. So make sure you do subscribe to this channel for keeping yourself updated with everything that is required to make your process. Next is application engineer intern. So this, uh, this is basically a full-time role as well as internship. Again, it's for third year and final year, right? And strategic cloud engineer, generally they hire for full-time role. Now moving ahead. What exactly you can expect out of uh, these uh, different different types of roles? So the first that we'll be talking about is Google. So Google SW role, you will see multiple different types of processes through which you can get into this role. First is, let's say you're talking about Google internship and you're talking about Google FT. So for internship, generally, let's say a two months internship or a six months internship, generally there are only two rounds conducted nowadays. For some of the students, it can be three rounds plus one screening. For some of you whose screening is screening can be skipped based upon your profile. So these two rounds are wholly based upon DSL goes. Generally, no online test is conducted here. In FT, you will see an online test in most cases. For some of you, online desk can be skipped here also. There can be a phone screening round. When I say online desk, there'll be a Google online coding challenge. Right? So when I say Google online coding challenge, you will expect this test to be on either CoCubes. So I've seen this test on CoCubes also, and it can be on Hacker Earth also. So what you can expect, you can expect two, two, three questions. Medium to hard level, I would say, if you compare it with lead code, medium to hard level, two to three questions to be solved in one and a half hours to two hours. So this is going to be the general pattern, right? For Google SWE role. Also, apart from this, I would like to suggest you some of the resources from where you can prepare. There's a top Google coding interview questions list. You can find these questions with a tag of Google. So almost all of these questions have been asked in Google directly. Matab, you will not see a direct question, but yes, a modification of this kind of a question you could expect because directly they don't ask uh, standard problems. They'll ask you a little typical question. So from how to make that typical question to add a new modification or to add a new feature in the already existing question, right? So you can practice these questions well, right? There are a lot of questions, like around 100 questions you'll see. 
so they have also mentioned average time that you need to uh, that will that will take to solve this particular problem difficulty level also and uh, how many students have attempted like this is pascal angle is a very common question and many students have attempted it right so uh, you can check this out this is for so when i say application engineer role so this is this closely resembles to the software engineering role but here you are more oriented towards software side of things as well as business side of things you need to interact with businesses as well based upon the requirements what are the client requirements and everything so it's more of a kind of uh, close to you can say you uh, perform the role of a developer also but you need to understand the business requirements also right then there is something known as strategic cloud engineer so this is a new vertical matlab very less people you will find with this particular role so here you will taught entirely about gcp google cloud platform what are its requirements so you will be a mediator between companies as well as its clients and maybe you need to pitch in about google cloud and you need to have certain software competencies with respect to uh, how well you know about gcp and what can you build upon gcp various migrations various integrations so each and everything about strategic cloud engineer you can know about this so when i say about the level of questions in application engineer and strategic cloud engineer so it is a little lower like you are not expected to be very 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 good at uh, uh, problem solving as you can see in software engineering role so the level of software engineering so the level of questions asked in software engineering role is a little higher as compared to application engineer and soft uh, strategic cloud engineer so the level is a little lower but yes you need to prepare dsa as well your projects also play a very important part when you are appearing for application as well as strategic cloud engineer role you need to understand about different things when i say strategic cloud engineer so you should you need to be very good at uh, concepts of operating systems computer networks and dbms so for strategic cloud engineer these uh, cs fundamentals are also very very important right so basically these are the different type of roles and there is one thing more that is step internship so this step internship is basically for second year students in this also the only focus is data structures algorithms that is your problem solving skills nothing else is expected more so basically your resume as well as your data structure algorithm if you are good at problem solving you can get this in turn after you get a step step in turn at google there are very high chances that you convert it into a pre placement internship offer then that pre placement internship can be converted into a ppo so it's a very very important thing you might see the applications of it around december this year as well right so this is basically the processes of different different roles the online assessment when i talk about the topics topics for swe it's not generally specified ki ye topics se like you need to do but still if i talk about majorly you will see questions based upon dynamic programming 2d dp 3d dp when i say uh, apart from dynamic programming what else you will see questions based upon greedy you need to figure out whether you need to apply greedy or dynamic programming this also plays a very important part then uh, there can be questions based upon graph graphs algorithms and graph traversals right then uh, majorly questions based upon strings string matching also some advanced concepts of dsa but these are the questions that have been most frequently asked i'm not saying it is the these are the only topics but yes you should give more focus upon these topics if you are preparing particularly for online assessment of google uh, uh, swe right so these are the topics that are top interview questions apart from that there are mock tests also present on this platform code studio uh, these are completely free you don't need to pay anything right so this is a google online assessment like there are five mock tests kind of thing three total problems one and a half hours each 280 uh, is the total score you can check it out and see if you are able to solve these three problems in one and a half hour or not also you can click on this start test to start your test you can see this kind of interface you will be having like there will be three questions with different different points and you can solve these particular problem 
Also on Code Studio, you will find this data structure algorithms guided path where you can start from C++, Java, matlab, whichever language you want to learn, whatsoever topic you want to learn, you can uh, understand like what all things to start with and how to proceed it further. So this is also something that you can check upon. You should majorly focus upon. Apart from that, what else we need to know about Google's process is you need to know about there is something known as uh, different competitions that Google conducts, right? So which all competitions are conducted? There's something known as Google Code Jam. There's something known as Google Kickstart. There's something known as Google Hash Code. So if you perform really very good in Kickstart, you are bound to get a call from recruiter. The, in many cases, you will get a call from a recruiter if you perform well in Kickstart. That is one. Then there's Code Jam and then there's Hash Code. These competitions are majorly for improving software competencies in students. That is problem solving skills. But mostly these are, uh, in some cases, you will see people would get a call, but it's not very sure that you will get a call. But yes, you can definitely participate. I'll give the links to Code Jam, Kickstart and Hash Code also in the description. Whensoever these competitions are up, you can definitely apply for them and you can at least take a part, right? That name of Code Jam or like you have participated in some other round, you have reached some particular round, that impacts your resume overall. So these are the competitions that you should look forward to if you're applying for Google in any terms or another. Right. That was it for this particular video. I hope people like this amazing video. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. I would try to analyze many more companies like this and do let me know in the comment section which next company should we come up with. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck. Bye.